Hey guys, Brendan Odin Productions here, <coughs> and uh, before you start screaming and shouting, um, yes, this is a Visual Basic or Visual Studio 2010 uh, tutorial. I don't know why you would scream and shout, but just thought I'd prevent anything bad from happening. Oh. <laughs> In any case, uh, right now I just wanted to announce that I'm downloading the Windows Developer Preview uh, for Windows 8, which is supposed to be coming with Win uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2011, so uh, once I get up that up and running, I'll go ahead and... Uh, get a video going of that and uh, let you guys know of all the neat features and anything in particular that I notice. But in either case, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Now today uh, I'm going to be discussing my custom class named Run as Admin. Now if you've seen my, uh, if you've read my blog recently, you'll know that I had a little rant about uh, how Visual Studio is really bad at handling uh, applications for Windows Vista and Windows 7 because as soon as you click the publish bu button in order to make an installation program for your software, um, the software is no longer capable of running as admin. It is no longer capable of giving itself administrative privileges because it is a click once application. And I actually think that that is a really dumb design. So of course I went ahead and just fixed it by making my own little uh, class. So uh, right now I'm going to show you guys how to actually implement this class and uh, and there'll be a download link in the description. I'll regularly update it. Right now it's in its earliest release stage. So there'll be more recent updates later on. But in either case, so I'm going to make a new Windows Forms application running on the .NET Framework 4.0 and I'm going to make this called Run as Admin Tutorial. And uh, we're going to get started right away. So, uh, once this loads up, which it should eventually, here it goes. Um, um, so, the one thing that an application can do, or the several things that applications can do in order to need administrative privileges would be stu stuff like uh, access Windows files, download things, uh, upload things, I think you might need privileges, uh, overwrite files, copy files, cut files any type of file operation you're actually going to need administrative privileges and this is actually very common in a program to have file operation going on so of course most programs are going to need uh, uh, Windows administrative privileges however uh, you can normally do this give your application administrative privileges by simply going to your project or the properties of your project rather and then going to view Windows settings and then once you're here, you can actually go to the requested execution level, and uh, you can just give yourself uh, administrative privileges right here by typing in highest available, which uh, gives you more information about this, uh, these things in the commented section out right here. But highest available is just the highest administrative privileges that you can actually get. So if we set our application to highest available and then save it, there's no problem we can uh, run the application and uh, it'll actually run it as an administrator uh, yeah however if we go ahead and go to our project and uh, go into our publish area and then all we have to do is click publish now it'll give us a nice error click once does not support the request execution level highest available and now suddenly uh, we cannot use highest available within our project simply because we tried to publish it. So we need to set this back to as invoker, which is just the standard uh, without administrative privileges. So um, in order to fix this, you can use what I like to call run as admin. Now run as admin, all it does is it launches a separate executable. It has that executable ask for administrative privileges, and then it launches your application with administrative privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that right now. So in order to add run as admin to your application, you're going to have to add um, a reference. And um, there'll be two files once you download run as admin. Um, one will be called run as admin class and one run as admin dot exe. Uh, right now it's by Microsoft simply because I need to change that. But anyway, uh, so for reference, you need to add an run as admin class dot dll. And then what you're going to do is actually go over to your project and uh, you're going to want to add existing items to your project. Then you want to go to your uh, wherever you downloaded it to and sort by all files 
and then you're actually going to want to add run as admin and run as admin class to your project itself. Then you're going to want to select each one in the solution explorer and make sure that the copy to output directory is copy always for each one run as admin.exe and run as admin class. And um, now you're pretty much all set up. You only need one more thing. Uh, on your form load, you're going to need to initiate run as admin, which is really easy. You just want to type in run as admin class dot run as admin dot run as admin. And then it's going to require some parameters. Main exe name. Now this is just the name of your project and then with dot exe at the end. So, or maybe it's not dot exe at the end. We'll see. Uh, so run as admin tutorial is our project name. Command as string. Uh, all you have to do is type in command and open and close parentheses. That's all it needs. And then the sender as the object, you just need me. So all this is doing is telling it to run this um, application with administrative privileges. This parameter, uh, this is actually the parameter for when you send parameters to other Windows applications, will make sure that it runs with Windows uh, administrative privileges. And this, me, actually will help it close the old one that is not running with administrative privileges. So now if we go ahead and run the application, Um, nothing seems to happen. Of course, I think that's just the way it's supposed to be. But if we type exe, at the end of that, same thing happens. So, that is because um, while we're running it inside Visual Studio itself, it always runs with administrative privileges. However, if we actually go to the build directory of our project, and uh, run the run as admin tutorial it now pops up with this user account control message uh, saying that run as admin.exe wants to access the hard drive and then all you're going to need to do is press yes and it launches your application with administrative privileges now of course um, of course for this tutorial oh no that's good yeah so it runs the application with administrative privileges, and we're all good. So that has been a basic rundown of Run as Admin, uh, which allows you to run your application with administrative privileges even when you publish the application. So now if you were to publish the application um, and actually go to Application Files, these will automatically be added to your uh, application file thing when you publish it so it'll publish and uh, you'll be able to run it as admin when it's published as well so it's pretty much just a big thing to bypass uh, the built-in Windows system but you know this whole video I've kind of just been rambling going off topic not really staying focused and that's because it's late at night but anyway so thanks for watching this tutorial there is a download link for run as admin in the description it should be some official page uh, but I don't know I haven't created it yet so yeah uh, have fun with this hopefully it does help you out uh, I know run, uh, getting things to run as admin has been a pain with some of my viewers and hopefully this helps them out specifically but I'll see you guys in future videos and uh, have a great day peace